Hey guys, it's Kiata here. Sorry that my light is, oh, excuse me. My nose is stocked up and it's hard for me to talk. But thanks for joining me today. Yay, woo! Anyways, no, just kidding. Um, I'm going to do a tutorial on how to clean your makeup brushes. Um, like I said, excuse that light. I don't know why it's so bright. It looks like angels are behind me. No, just kidding. Anyways, um, so I'm going to go ahead and start that. So, you're only going to see like half of my body in this thing because I have to like point my camera downward so you can get all this goodness down here and everything. So, I'm going to just do a couple brushes, show you. It's really quick. It's easy. It's not that hard. Usually, you would want to do it um, in a seat, you know, your bathroom, your kitchen, you know, somewhere where you have a seat. But, it's kind of like the light that's in there, in there is horrible. I don't have a place where I can actually sit my camera without it like getting wet and stuff. So I decided just to do it here, and yeah, you can just take what I do here to see. So it's it's the same thing. So we'll go ahead and just whoop, look at all that niceness right there. All right, right here I got my two bowls of water. These are both um, lukewarm water, and one it, one that I'm going to use for the little size and the mix, and the other ones I'm going to use to kind of rinse it. And then I had this cup here where I'm going to sit it in. And um, to wash your brushes, what you're going to need is some EVOO. I got some here in this little jar right here. Right here. You don't need this much, but I like my brushes to be thoroughly clean. So you take that and you just have a bowl where you can mix it in. And you can um, use either dish, uh, dish soap. Or, um, I like to use the Johnson & Johnson Baby Wash or whatever. That's what I like to use personally. And I get this little travel size because I think this is good for my brushes. I use this strictly for my brushes. So I take that and I just mix it in. Oh, wait. I gotta open it. Attention, parents of children with cerebral palsy. If you suspect that a medical mistake may have occurred at or near the time of birth, call eight hundred. And actually, that might be too much, too much. Olive oil, but the reason you use olive oil because it keeps your bristles soft. Another birth injury. A lifetime of medical care can cost millions of dollars. Protect your child and find out what legal rights may be available. Call eight hundred nine hundred. And then you just mix it together. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start off with my big brushes. But it's real simple. You just wet your brush. Like I said, you want to do this underwater, but it doesn't really matter. Wet your brush. And never, when you do it, do not hold your brush upward because if the ferrule, the brush, uh, bristles in the ferrule get wet, it could damage your brush quicker. But you always want to keep it downwards. Wet your brush, and then you dip it in your solution, and you just take it, and you just swirl it around in the palm of your head. And if you can see, you can see the makeup coming off of it. And you just... Mix it, mix it, mix it. And like I said, you will want to do this underwater. Once you get it, you can actually see the the makeup co ooh, coming off. And I'm going to just go ahead and move to the seat so you all can see it because I really need this to be... My brushes are... Uh, got a lot in them. Uh, but once you do that, you rinse them and you always want to put them downward. In, um, in a jar container or you want to lay it flat like this you never want to have them tilted up because like I said if the bristles get red, wet in the ferrule it will damage the brush and the bristles will start coming out and stuff like that but always downward or whatever to dry or you can lay it down flat or whatever but basically that's how you clean your brushes you know water 
solution, olive oil, baby oil, just soap, whatever best suits you. Uh, you add it, you mix it in your palm, you'll see the stuff going out. And you'll know when your brushes are cleaned or not because obviously you won't have that makeup, um, you know, makeup in there anymore. And then you just rinse it and, like I said, downwards. And that's basically it. That's how you clean your brushes. Um, it doesn't, I mean, it takes maybe a day or so for your brushes to dry, but, you know, you can easily brush, I mean, dry them with, you know, your hair dryer or whatever. I wouldn't recommend that. I would recommend them just air drying. But, like I said, that was simple, easy, quick. Um, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe. You can ask a question if you like. You can ask a question if you like. It doesn't matter. Um, but, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks. Now I just need to cut this off because it's so hard. I don't know where it's at. Right. All right. Bye, guys.